Daniel. I'm the co-founder of Ninth Level Games. We've been around for 25 years. Uh, we are uh, primarily we primarily make role-playing games. Um, currently, our next big game comes out this September. We'll be hitting store shelves. Is Return to Dark Tower, which is the first role-playing game based on a board game that's based on a board game. And one of the things that we've made for the game is uh, this: the Return to Dark Tower dice tower. So everything it actually comes with. Um, uh, a deck of cards for all of the activity in the game, nine polyhedral dice, uh, 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 a pack of character sheets, uh, a bunch of tokens, and all of that fits inside. And if you look here, we open and we take it together. All connects together as a working dice tower that you can... This is uh, just held together with a very strong magnet. So it all comes back together and everything cool. gets back in the box. And this is for the role-playing game, you said? It's for the role-playing game. Tell me about the role-playing game. Uh, so the role-playing game is uh, based on our uh, role-playing game mazes. It uses the polymorph system, but this is built around the idea of the board game Return to Dark Tower. Uh, so the concept is, is, as a group, we're going to create an adversary who is the master of the tower. And over a series of adventures, we're going to build up our armies to go and uh, defeat the adversary, or die in the process, right? You know, sometimes evil wins. Uh, so we, we, we say uh, Mazes is our sword and sorcery game. It's our, it's, our, it's our Conan. It's our Robert E. Howard. And this is, this is Lord of the Rings. This is, you know, the big evil that has all the power, and we have to raise up equal. All the information for the game is in here. It also comes with a, a copy of the map. Uh, this is everything you need to uh, play the game. Uh, and it's fully compatible with mazes. So everything in this can be used in your mazes game. And you can use mazes to expand your Return to Dark Tower game. Cool. Tell me a little bit about the RPG mechanics. Uh, the RPG the mechanics, show. the core of it, if you want to come over here, I'll show you something really cool. Sure. We have this thing called the Resolver. The core of polymorph games is that you are represented by a singular polyhedral die. So you're either a D4, a D6, a D8, or a D10. And whenever you take an action, you only ever roll your die. Uh, and what you're trying to do is roll a specific number. What you would do is, uh, if you're trying to do something with your brains, you're going to do something with books. So you want to roll a two or a three. It's boots. If you want to do something physical, run, jump, three, four, five. If you want to fight, it's called blades. Uh, four, five, six, seven. And then bones, you're just going to stand strong. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. If you roll your key, you roll the one on your die. Uh, if it's something that your character can do, it works. If you roll the top number on your die, depending on different factors in the game, and those factors are different in mazes than they are in Return to Dark Tower. So in Return to Dark Tower, you're playing an epic game. You're epic heroes, and you have uh, soldiers that follow you, and you do all those things. So when you roll the top of your die, it's called Reinforce. Uh, and your your uh, your henchmen come and assist you. Uh, in mazes, it's, you know, you're carrying a torch and a sword, and you're down in the, uh, in the darkness. Uh, depending on how dark things have gotten, uh, different things happen when you roll your crown. So... Uh, and all of our games play off that interchange, and they do those different things. Cool. I have one polyhedral for my character. Yep. I roll it to do something. Yep. I roll a test. I'm trying to... How does it correspond to these numbers again? You are rolling, and you're trying to roll these specific numbers. So let me give you okay. a real good example. Let's say that you're the vanguard, right? Which means you are the D6. Uh -huh. So whenever you take any action that you have to roll, you roll the D6. You roll the D6 to try something. You roll the D6 to save, you roll the d6 to do damage. Okay. So if you're saying what I want to do is I want to jump over that wall and there's a chance that I'm going to fail, I'm going to roll my d6, and if I roll a 3, a 4, or a 5, that's a boots roll, that would be successful. Got it. Now, I could also roll a 1, and if I'm a thief character or a scout or a horseman, something that would be able to jump over that wall, that works. If I'm the spindly old man who reads books, even though I'm still a d6, if I roll the one, that's not part of what my character does. Got it. Right? Okay. Uh, and so each of the dice, it gives you the same feeling as having a full set of stats with no time. And every 
one, you just instantly. So instead of saying, oh, I have a 13 strength, it's what role do I want to play in the story? Do I want to be the expert that's really good at stuff? Then I want to be the D4. Do I want to move around and control the battlefield? I want to be a D6. Do I want to fight? Do I just want to hit it with a sword? I want to be a D8. Uh, do I want to make sure that I'm the last one standing? I want to be the D10. Got it. Right? Okay. Cool. Um, is there, are there levels? Or There's no level. Um, all of our games are designed uh, around the idea of uh, they're either one shots or groups of one shots. So, Return to Dark Tower is the first game that we're doing that has uh, uh, a campaign play in mind. Uh, but the expectation is just we're super iconic heroes, right? We're already awesome. Uh, in fact, we have another. You actually, in uh, Return to Dark Tower, you have a secondary character called your companion. So that when someone else is being the awesome hero, you can still play. But, you know, instead of being the king of thieves, you're yellow lemons the the you know the kid that he picked up and saved uh, you know before uh, so you can pr play that color thing so um, there's options for long term play to make your characters a little bit better but primarily leveling isn't the, 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 the focus it's about getting into a game and, and playing that game with that character cool thank you so much